The next morning, we got up and headed to the Wilson Airport to catch a plane to Amboseli. I really don't like those little planes. I pretty much instantly get sick. But whatever, we were headed somewhere fun and I was excited. When we first got in the truck and made our way out on safari, I remember Amboseli being like the Jungle Book or Lion King, but in real life. The pure amount of wildlife that we saw in a short amount of time was crazy. And this was just from getting off the plane and heading to the camp. One of the parades of elephants we saw is still one of the biggest I think I've ever seen. And the baby elephants were so adorable hidden amongst the much bigger elephants. I really enjoyed seeing all of the kingfishers as well. They are gorgeous birds that are really quite cool to look at. I think we were pretty jazzed to be out on safari because I don't remember going right back to camp. I remember staying out and taking it in as much as we could before finally Joseph, our guide, got us to the camp. The view from the camp was something pretty special though. And our tents at Ambicelli were pretty nice as well. After getting settled in at our new location, we headed back out for another game drive. Right off the bat, we saw some giraffes and a lot of really cool African birds. I really enjoyed watching the elephants slowly meandering through the swamplands and then seeing other elephants out in the middle of the plains just taking their sweet time trying to make it wherever they were headed. We also got to see our first lions of the trip. They weren't that exciting because they were just laying around because they were tired, but still pretty cool to see lions out in the wild nonetheless for the first time. And then I got this majestic shot. Take it in, it's, it's pretty sweet. In the morning, we were greeted by a majestic little fox, a group of warthogs, and a few dick dicks to start the day off right. Joseph took us to a place where there weren't many people around and we ended up finding some giraffes. Then we came across a family of baboons and watched them for a while. More on baboons later. Joseph got us pretty close to a very large elephant that was just off by itself. I don't think there was a reason it was by itself. Maybe it just wanted some time alone and we were bugging it and we should have just left him alone. Then we saw a group of hyenas. These scavengers are pretty entertaining to watch in my opinion. Joseph had probably already found these ostrich eggs days before, but it was cool to see their nesting grounds. After checking out some more wildlife, Joseph brought us to breakfast in the bush that we weren't expecting. This is probably my favorite way to have breakfast. Just gotta say that, like you're out in the middle of nowhere and somebody's making you an omelet. It's pretty sweet. When we finally finished our delicious breakfast out in the bush, Joseph taught us how to make a natural toothbrush out of some branch. Do you think he was trying to tell us something? I think he was. Maybe it was to help our breath before meeting the African tribe he took us to after breakfast. They did a whole introduction song for us and then they showed us their village. This is the village that still owes dad a goat or two for his watch. I can't remember if it was one or two. They ended up teaching us how to start a fire with cow poop, something I still use to this day. <laughs> and then as we were leaving, the tribe said goodbye to us. We went back to the Ambicelli camp and got into our tent to take a nap. Our nap was rudely interrupted by some baboons chasing off a dog. Not sure if it was a wild dog or not, but they sure didn't want it near their family, and we saw them coming and got promptly back in our tent. They coming this way? Yep. They say it's good luck to see an ostrich mating dance. I don't know who says it, but somebody does somewhere in some country. And then we finished out the day with a beautiful sunset. 